Press Box writer Tim Richardson takes you inside the world of sports business with the Press Box Sports Business Report, sponsored by Natty Bogear, only at PressBoxOnline.com. And welcome back to Inside Press Box. Before the break, Simon Haptamarium and I were talking about Towson Athletics, but now I want to talk a little bit more in depth about Tiger football with the man who penned our cover story, turning up the roar at Towson Athletics for this season. Simon, how much better could the Tigers be this year than last? It's hard to tell right now because going into last season, a lot of people didn't expect the Towson that they saw in the preseason to do what they did over the course of 11 games. What this you're se- saying is essentially they snuck up on some people last year. So who's to say now they won't they've got the target on? But well, but the flip side of that is now they have a target on their back. Yeah, they they don't. They're not in the position to surprise anybody. They're not gonna roll into New Hampshire or Maine or any of these top CAA schools and just sort of impose their will on them. They have to kind of go into a situation with the target on their back, like you said, and still come out and still execute even better than they did last time. They don't have the advantage of surprise this time. They don't have the ability to sort of sneak up on people offensively. Do they have the advantage, though, of having now some players that have experienced and tasted winning and have improved their game definitely and when you see and who are some of those players some of those guys you look at guys that a didn't even have a full spring under their belts going to last year their quarterback grant enders rolled in during the summertime he didn't even have a full spring with his core of young receivers most of which are returning and even leon Kennard, guys like gerard shepherd these transfers that came in with some fcs talent coming in from uconn and those type of big east schools they have the experience and the tools and the talent to play on a big level, but now you add the chemistry into that. When you have very athletic receivers like those two guys, when you have Terrence West, who was a phenom as a freshman last year, coming back with, who's he's only going to be a little bit better than he was last year. He's only going to be a little bit stronger. He's only going to be a little bit faster than he was last year. Now, I remember talking to, to Coach Ambrose last off season, you know, mm-hmm. uh, nine months ago, ten months ago, and he was excited about the caliber of player he was recruiting that would be here for this year. Are there some impact players on the sidelines that haven't suited up yet for the Tigers? Well, coming into this season, you see a few very promising transfers. Uh, again, and they had a young O-line last season, mostly sophomores. That are, most of them are coming back this season and will again make an impact. Guys like Eric Pike, who did suit up last year. He's a captain even last year, but you want to see what these impact players in the trenches will do with another year in the weight room. And then again, you had guys that came in last season that came in under the radar, a Gerard Shepard, a Leon Kennard, two very athletic wide receivers coming in as transfers from UConn that have the tools to play on the big level and now are sort of better meshed into the system that understand how to win at Towson a little bit more. Uh, Kennard, probably more of a role hit player last year, but Shepard sort of one of the breakout players you want to see this year. One of the key things that you didn't touch on in this story, because it wasn't sort of the purview of this story, is the sustainability of this level of success. Has Coach Ambrose cashed in yet on the the bonus of winning at the level he did last year or is that really the payoff if he if he now sustains that success i think that is what this season will prove that'll sort of be the barometer of this season again like i said they won't be able to surprise anybody so that'll be a little bit more difficult going into known contenders but they are playing a tougher schedule this year they're playing not one division 1a school they're not playing just one fcs school in kent state They're playing the national runners-up for the BCS title last year. They're going down to Baton Rouge to play LSU. Those good money games, yeah, but you don't normally go into them with hopes of putting up. Of pulling off the upset. Yeah, I mean, well, everybody will come in with hopes, but you don't go in necessarily expecting to march into Baton Rouge and coming out with the W. What you would like to see is them sort of be able to hang in there with these top-level CAA schools, the New Hampshire's, the Maine's, the James Madison's, and sort of, Go in there and show them who they are. Show them that, yeah, okay, you know we're good this year. We're not going to surprise you. You know we have the best running back, best sophomore running back in the country. Last question I have for you. By the way, an excellent read turning up the roar uh, Mm -hmm. on the Towson athletic program and the football program for this year. But a quick question. The the attendance this year. I'm assuming based on the success last year, they're going to be 
drawing at the 90 to 95 percent capacity. Would there be any scenario where you could see them increasing the capacity there in a couple of years? Uh, in a couple of years, definite possibility. Uh, depends on where the resources are and all signs point to up right now. If the resources are coming in, if they continue to, even as, like we said, as the program sustains winning on a level, if the athletic department on a resource basis, on a financial basis can sustain that kind of support, the sky's the limit for this program. All right, thank you very much. And again, thank congratulations you, on you. the marriage. Hey, before we go to break, I wanted to tell our viewers that I'm proud to be an endorser now for MetaFast. You know, most of the time you hear radio personalities sing the praises of this medically supervised weight loss program that has been recommended by over 20,000 doctors since all the way back in 1980. But now you can lay eyes on me and both see and hear the results. The folks at MetaFast have asked me to share my story with the viewers of this program each week, and I'll start by saying this. MetaFast is an easy, easy, medically supervised program that includes five MetaFast prepackaged meals and one lean and green meal per day. The results? How about me? Down 31 pounds in four months. I feel better. My clothes that were tight now fit right. Benefits to my blood pressure and much more. Lose two to five pounds per week for the first two weeks and one to two pounds per week after that. MetaFast is the brand recommended by over 20,000 doctors since 1980. Results will vary. Consult your physician before beginning a weight loss program. Go online for complete program details. That's metafastcenters.com. After the break, we'll hear from Inside Press Box reporter Derek Watte, who was at Camden Yard for last weekend for the Eddie Murray statue unveiling. Plus, we'll take a look at our photo of the week. Stay tuned.